The Kentucky Lottery has a new family of scratch-offs, and Chip Holston joins us this morning with all of the details. Chip, we love when you come on and introduce a new family, shall we say, but this new family of scratch-off tickets has what's called a rolling jackpot feature, which is also new. So how does all of this work? Yeah, this one's really interesting, Angie, and we really think players are going to enjoy this a lot. So the way that this works is that it, the, it's the family of games known as Kentucky Jackpot. Those tickets are available at the one, two, five, 10, and $20 level. So there's five different tickets that are available there. But the interesting thing with this one is that you play the ticket and you can win up to, to for example, on the $20 ticket, you can win up to a half a million dollars. But after you're finished playing the ticket, you can use that ticket to then enter a second chance drawing for a jackpot that is continually growing. There's going to be four different drawings over the coming months for this. And if you go to our website at kylottery.com, you can find out what the jackpot is as it progresses up to the next drawing. The first drawing is going to be on February 23rd, and we know players are really going to get a kick out of that. So wait, so after you scratch it off, then you go online, Chip, and yeah. enter for a jackpot drawing? A, a jackpot prize, correct. And the beauty is, if you want, if you've got a mobile device and you have the Kentucky Lottery app on there, once you set up a Fun Club account, all you have to do is scan the barcode on the back of that ticket and you're entered. You don't have to do anything else. Here's the really cool thing about this game, though, Angie, and it's the number of entries you get with each ticket. So, for example, on that $1 ticket, you get one entry for the jackpot. However, at the $5 ticket, you get eight entries for the jackpot. At the $10, you get 20 entries. And on the $20 ticket, you get 50 entries into the jackpot. So the higher price point ticket you buy, the lot more chances you get in the, the big drawing that we'll be doing coming up. How do players respond? And I almost feel a little silly saying this because I know how I just responded. You know, I mean, you get multiple chances, but really, how do players respond to they have really, all yeah. chances? They really enjoy these because, you know, you play the ticket and you find out when you scratch off the ticket how you've done, but then you've got a, another chance that you can enter in for a drawing that's going to take place a little while, a, a little while down the road. This one, again, the first one will be held on February 23rd. And there's a great anticipation in there, especially for folks that have a good number of entries in for these things about, you know, hey, did I win? And it's always interesting that then players track this stuff. At 9 o'clock on February 23rd, our phones will start to explode from people wanting to know, have you done the drawing yet? Have you named a winner yet? So we'll hear from a lot of people. They really do like these second chances. And again, this Kentucky jackpot drawing is unlike anything we've ever been able to offer here in Kentucky. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, but also I mean, college students in Kentucky are starting their new semester. We know that. Right. So this is always a great time to remind people where the fun and the proceeds, though, really more importantly, the proceeds from the Kentucky lottery ticket sales are spent. That's important. That's right. The lottery proceeds in Kentucky fund college scholarship and grant programs. The number we all Angie, $3.8 billion with a B, $3.8 billion have gone to those programs over the last 24 years. If you've ever known anyone in Kentucky who's gotten a Keys scholarship, every dime of Keys money ever awarded came straight from the sale of Kentucky lottery tickets. And in fact, one out of five Kentuckians has now received a college scholarship or grant from us. And that's something we're awfully proud of. As you should be. And Chip, where can people find more information both about the scholarship and grant programs, as well as, of course, the Kentucky Jackpot family of tickets? All that's going to be at KYLottery.com. You can find out where the money goes and get information on how to apply for those scholarships. And you can go to the Kentucky Jackpot page on our website to see the rolling jackpot and see what it's progressed to at this point. All right, Chip, looking forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you, Angie.